Vlog time people, back on the bank, it's Sunday, it's about half five, we've been here about an hour and a half, managed to get everything set up outside, but as you can see, the bivet is absolutely trash with stuff at the minute, so but I've managed to get three rods out and the fish is showing. I've seen one, two, three, possibly four carp while I've been in here. Um, and when I was walking around when I got here, I seen another one here and another one here. Um, but most of the fish what I'm seeing are to this to the left here. So I've got a bag, I've put three bags out, I've put one out there one there and one out there to the right just for the time being to get all the stuff sorted out and keep watching the water to make a plan so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix some bait up you know some particle this that and the other so I've got that ready I'm just going to watch and see what happens and if they're still showing and they're still showing slightly to my left I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the pod further over and further out and find an area over here but if they start showing along here as well and not just from here to here then I shall leave the rod pod where it is but I've got three bags out at the minute anyway so at least I've got some summits out there but the water is really coloured up got a nice wind it's mm, I won't say it's cold I won't say it's hot it's probably in between um, but the fish is showing and I'm on them so that's the most important thing so right I'm going to cut you loose people and I need to get this, a lot of stuff sorted out so I'll catch you in a bit adios morning people it's about 10 past 4 in the morning been up about 15 minutes nothing um, I mean I put all three rods out here last night on the on the silt just behind the gravel in about 12 foot of water but I saw fish, a lot more fish last night to the left, here. I saw fish over my area, well not over my area, just beyond my area. And I've seen fish to the right, but it seems to be more fish last night over this side. So I'm going to keep my eye out this morning and see if they show again. Um, make a decision whether to move to the left or to stay where I am we'll just see what happens but it's good to be back on the bank again poor tired though this morning my legs hurting they ball I'm glad to be back right we'll get a cup of coffee and then watch the water people I shall catch you in a bit. Adios, amigos. Right, blog time people. It's about quarter past ten now. Um, I've had no line, there's no bleeps, nothing. The amount of fish that was here last night there's a lot of fish here and there's some bigger fish among them as well the area I'm fishing out in front of me I think I need to be further out the fish is showing they're not showing close to the not in the margins anywhere even when they're showing across here I see most of them show from about this point here across here and then I've seen a few up here along where that bar is but the majority of them have been to the left of me here 
So I think what I'm going to do is these two rods, my left and my middle rod, I'm going to go further out in slightly deeper water and find an area and put a big bed of bait out there and just sit on it. And then this other rod, I'm going to leave over that area that I baited, I think, for today, but use that as a rod that I can wind in and drop a rig on or a bag on top if I see anything else. I think that's the plan. I can't see the point in moving to the next peg because I have seen fish shouting there, but there's still been more of the majority here. And they were showing last night till dark. But this morning, I've only seen, I thought I saw one this morning, possibly two, still out there. But I can't be 100% sure there was carp. So I think my plan, I'm going to give it a bit longer, because like I say, it's only about 10 o'clock. About lunchtime, I'll get the marker out. Get a find an area out there, I think, and get some bait on it. I don't normally spot in the daily, but I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put about 15 spoms out, I think, 20 spoms possibly. Um, a mixture of bird seed and chop boiling and stuff, and some liquid, and some sweet corn and stuff. A good mixture. And then get it out there and sit on it because if they're in this area and the wind's up this way the next few days chances are they're still, they're still in, they're going to be in and out of this area so if I can stop them with a bed of bait out there and then like I say this other rod I shall keep it on that spot until I see something else to go on I'm not bothered about putting anything right up the margin here or right up the margin there because it's not very deep and I just don't think they're getting up there properly yet I think they're still in deeper water, so because the water's still not that hot yet. So that's the plan of action, people. So I'm going to finish my cup of coffee and enjoy this sunshine. So I shall catch you all in a bit. Adios, amigos. Right people, just thought I would show you what I'm using inside my solid bags. So inside my solid bags I always use a KD rig. A short KD rig, 3 to 4 inches. Something along those lines. And I use a pop up or a wafter. I have a shot underneath it. I have a long hair. And I'm looking at about 15 centimetre, sorry, 15 millimetre gap between that and the hook. And the hook sticks really aggressive. I use a curved shank. Sometimes use a size 5, sometimes use a size 6 or a 7, it just all depends what size bag I'm using. And then that's 3 inches, 4 inches of quarter braid, which will go onto a clip and then go inside the bag. And that's a prime wafter. Same rig again, except that is a Prime pop up 15 miller. It's been cured and soaked. And then, new bait, what I'm using from Prime, yeah, sorry, from RG Baits. And that's the plum and the formula, the Robin Red in it. So I'll put them out. And they're going inside little ESP Drenon bags. So, what I've done is, I've put some bait out there, so he was chucking it down the rain, I've put about 15 spoms, 20 spoms out there, got a nice area, and they've already been fizzing on it, but I've put no rigs out yet, I'm just leaving it and leaving it and let the fish come in, and then I'm going to get these rigs sorted out, and then I'll get them out, and then later, I'm going to put about another five spoms over it. 
and then that's it I'm gonna leave it then and just see what happens so I've got a few days two or three days so that's what I'm doing so I shall catch you in a bit people but that's the plan and like I say the spod mix what's gone out there has got all sorts in it so but it's already been slicking fizzing on it so the summer's been visiting it already I'm in 16 foot of water down the shelf so I'll catch you in a bit people adios Bit of an update people, it's about half seven, the fish have just started showing again, but they're not showing over this side at all now, they're showing over the other side, yeah it's blowing a westerly this way, so they're pushing more to the back of the wind, by the looks of it, I mean the fish was all over here last night, this side, and now, like I say, they're showing over the other side. I've seen them right up to the bar over there. I've seen them right in the far corner. And then there's some showing down the middle here to where that big weed bed is. And there's some showing off of there. Where the snags are. So, that bloke, there's a bloke in, on the beach, swim where he's fishing is showing over the top of him as well like there was me last night so it seems like they've pushed further out that way I don't know whether it's me spotting an imp further up there spotting that's done it I don't know I'm not sure I don't think it is I think they just want to be over there for some reason so I just hope they push back this way that's what I'm hoping for anyway so Right, I'm going to sign off because I want the toilet and I shall catch you later people. Adios. Not exactly what I wanted people. Jack Pike, about £7. I thought it was a tent at first. But anyway, I'll get it back. Like I say, it's about £7, I would say. So I'm going to get the little beauty back. Well, people, I just had a bacon sandwich fish have pushed right back over here again right on me more or less just showing all around here and they were over there more last night but they're over here now the wind's pushed them back in so the plan so far is working so the last show that I've seen is probably what five yards off of my area I've got two areas out there I've got one in 12 foot and then I've got two rods in 16 foot of water all going out on the, along the same line I didn't want to touch the shallows down this side I thought I'd come off of the edge of the shallows so that's what I've done and like I said I've got one in 12 foot of water and one in two sorry in 16 I've got bait, more bait over the two rods I've got a little bit of bait over the uh, single rod recast that rod back out last night while I had that pike on and then uh, so pike took a liking to my prime wafters it's a nice in nice condition actually it's the first pike I've had for a bit but I thought it was a tension at first but the weather looks bang on for it today I'm just gonna sit tight I don't even think I'm gonna take the rods out till tonight I was going to take them out today during the day, but the fish are on me like that, there's no point. 
I shall wait till later and re get them cast out. All three of them put a bit of bait over each one again. So that's the plan anyway, unless something changes. So I shall catch you in a bit, people. Adios, amigos. Yeah, got a little friend here to see us. Help me, Paul. He's not bothered about me. I think it's a shit, actually. And she seems to have took a liking to me. She likes it in here. Don't you? Eh? Yeah. She's doing alright nibble on everything. She's very tame, this one. She comes right up to me. She does. Now she's off for a waddle. See what she can find. She is. We'll leave her to it. Alright people. A little bit of an update. Still nothing. I've had no liners or nothing. I've seen a few fish. I mean this morning I've seen quite a few out here. Over my spot. But it seems to be showing more to the left now. I've been sat here with somebody and I've been seeing quite a few shows down this side again now, which is a bit similar to how it was when I got here on the Sunday, but then I started seeing them out here. But I'm going to stick to where I'm fishing. Um, so I'm still confident in getting something from there. I mean, I've got one in 12 foot of water, and then I've got the other, the other two in 16 foot of water. So we'll just see how it goes. The sun's out now, warming these shallows up. But I don't want to fish the shallows. I just don't, I don't know. It's just the thought of being picked up with birds all the time, what does me in about it. Um, you know, if nothing's come after tonight, I might put one down the shallows. I might try it, but we'll see I'm happy doing what I'm doing for now there's not many on so I think what I'm going to do is get a bit of food and I'm going to reel these in go to the toilet get fresh rigs on fresh bags out and then uh, I'll probably let you have a look at my lead setup. what I'm using I'm just using an inline lead Fishing, uh, you know, I'm fush fishing it. Uh, I've got one running and the other two drop off. So, but I'll probably show you in a bit. But it's just not fishing right still, this place ain't. It ain't, it's just not kicking in. But hey, uh, that's fishing for you. But I'm gonna get some food. And I'll just catch you in a bit, people. Adios, me gods. Top of the morning to you people. It's four o'clock in the morning. Nothing. No liners, no nothing. This fish topping, just starting to top. I'm going to keep my eyes well this morning on this left hand side and see if I see any more fish up there. Contemplating moving, but. I'm going to see first, if they show over where I am again, I'm going to stop where I am. But if I'm seeing more shows to the left, further up there, then I'm contemplating moving. I'm in two minds at the minute, I'm going to see how the morning pans out. It's really warm this morning and overcast. Yeah, they're showing in front of me again. And to the side, so we'll wait and see first. We'll wait and see. But that's the state of affairs, people. So I shall catch you in a bit. Adios, amigos.
blog time people as you can see different view I've moved I bit the bullet and I've moved I was either going to go in here or on the opposite bank but I've come in here in the peekaboo swim never fished it before so I thought I'd give it a go there's been fish showing up here so what I've done is I've found an area out there about 50 yards about 12 foot water nice clean patch um, and I've put two rods on that and I've put two wafters out there two prime wafters 15 mil wafters um, and a bag of mixed pellets Robin red pellets and some uh, prime pellets birds falling out again and some prime pellets and then I've put them two rods out put a bit of spot out put 12 spawns out and then this right hand rod I've put out about 20 yards and I've got that on a multi rig and I've got a pop up on top of that a prime there uh, plum pop up I've put about six baits around it and then just see how that goes I mean later on I might reel in and recast you know if I see fish um, we'll just see how it goes really but yeah so I've moved I've done the deed I've done the do so I'm going to make some spod mix up get a cup of coffee and get some tea because I haven't had any lunch I only had a bit of breakfast this morning first thing and I've been up since four so yeah buzzing hopefully the move will pay off I've got a couple of days at it anyway so fingers crossed I'll just have to see come on carp gods right catch you in a bit people adios amigos people just making another spod mix up basically putting some pigeon conditioner in there this is top flight pigeon conditioner it's the dairy one that's got the aniseed in it it's got absolutely everything in it you can imagine plus there's some sweet corn in there and maize and then I'm going to put a handful of chopped boiler, well crushed boiler should I say, like so. Prime boil is what I'm using. A few crushed ones of them in as well. These are 15 millers as well. These are prime, the other ones are formula. And uh, plum and red robin. Bait, so, by our G baits, I'm not going to put a lot in. Just 
gonna go a little bit in. Give that a stir around. And then to make sure it gets to the bottom and to darken the mix off, a bit of mean air black ground bait. I have used this or Robin Red this time of the year, but then I'll move on to Vitamin soon. And that just darkens it all off. Give that a stir around. And then soon I'll start using a bit more oil in it, some salmon oil or whatever. And that's basically the mix. Look. See all that goodness, beautiful, smells lovely, uh, yeah so that's the mix, what I'm using for now, so there you go, nice and simple but plenty of bits and bobs in there, alright I should catch you in a bit people, adios. Oh. Morning people about half four in the morning I've lost a fish about half an hour ago 20 minutes ago I don't know I don't know if it was a big tent or a small car it was hard to work out but it took me over the other side of the bar I got it back up over the bar reeling it in it felt quite evo and then got it into the margin it started to kick a little bit and then turned it back and then the next thing you know the up pulled so I don't know, there's no slime up the rig or the line saying it was a bream, so I don't know if it was a big tench or a small cop, I'm not sure. But anyway, I shall catch up with you in a bit, people. <sighs> Little one's having a bit more feed, people. The air pressure shot right up now um, so my right hand rod that's got the multi rig on when I fetch my rods and I'm going to put a zig on it not sure yet whether I'm going to put an adjustable zig on it or uh, normally it all depends whether I'm fishing this shallow side of the water or the deeper yet I'm going to wait and see but I've had a few more liners I haven't had no liners on my middle rod though so I'm wondering if my middle rod's a little bit too far over, so when I recast them out later I'm going to put them tighter over that spot out there. I don't think I'm going to put any more bait in in the day. I'm just going to recast bags out and then I'll recast another bag tonight. Um, there's too many birds about, all that's going to happen is the birds are just going to be straight on it. So. Well, that's the plan anyway, that's what I think I'm going to do. Um, so it can just be a case of whipping me uh, rig off, my leader off, putting a different leader on. With a lead clip on it. Instead of that in line that I've got on there. And then uh, putting the zig on. I think it'll be more likely just a tide zig. In the shadow of water I think. We'll, we'll see anyway. Right, I should catch you in a bit because I haven't got much battery life left, people. So, I've got to be careful. Adios, amigos. Right, people. I said I was going to show you my lead set up. That's one of them. That's some Fox lead core leader, 50 pound, with a splice loop at the end. Then, slid onto that as a sleeve. And then at the bottom I've got a splice double ring swivel. And attached to that I've got a quick link. And then what I do is I push that through the uh, piece of rubber, I can't remember what you call them now, old age moment, and then uh, push that into the bottom of the lead and then I attach my rig to that and then when I get a, a take 
will pull that off and the lead will come off if it hits something I've set it so it's so basically not to come straight off on the take I've set it fairly tight so that if it hits anything it'll come off and that's the lead core one and that's a two and a half ounce lead and then this one is fluorocarbon I don't do the leaders too long they're about two and a half foot three foot at the most same principle again except this time it's running so it's going through the lead obviously sleeve on there and then obviously that pulls out the bottom with the clip again so if I get a take it'll hit the lead and then as the fish shoots off that'll turn into a running lead and that can slide over the top if it wants to come off that's what you always need to make sure two and a half ounce lead again I use two and a half ounce leads I do up to about 80 yards it just suits mate and like I say that's that fluorocarbon you can also make them out of the cord a 50 pound uh, sinking braided leader that works just as good so if you think that they can see your lead core then uh, either use fluorocarbon or some of that braided leader off the corder but there you go there's the lead so I said I'd show you so there you go little uh, tips there all right people catch you in a bit adios well people it's Friday tea time it's about five o'clock quarter past five had nothing, I can't believe I've had nothing. I mean this morning there was a lot of fish boshing big carp this morning. I've seen some big, a couple of big mirrors. One of them boshed down this side here, but everybody saw it about seven times. One after another. Good 30 odd pound fish that was. So, I've tried everything. I've got a zig on at the minute on my right hand rod while I'm working up and down the water column. I've casted two fresh bags out about one o'clock on that spot out there. Before I had the zig on, I took my other rod out of the water and I went into the reeds and I was floater fishing for about two and a half hours. I had a couple of fish, now's the bait, but the birds kept messing it up. Every time I got it myself settled, the bloody birds were coming along trying to nick the bait one of them, I actually hooked one of them, one of the baby ducks, got it in, one of the mallards, got it into the side and got unhooked it. It has got the hook in its mouth and its tongue, so I unhooked it. I got that back in the water, but the water has gone like pea soup, it has. It is absolutely, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, I'll have a quick look. It has gone like... I don't think it will, but you can see look, all this white stuff in the water off of the bush. You can't, the camera's not really picking it up, but it's really, really algified. It is. Um, I mean, for days I've been getting liners, but the liners have stopped. I've had, they had one still. Um, but I think what I'm going to do tonight is fetch that zig in and the spot that I was fishing to the right there I'm just going to cast a bag onto it and then put a couple of spods around it and then this area out here I'm going to freshen up with about another eight spawns but instead of putting bags out there I'm going to put two boiler rigs on two bottom bait rigs on a German rig <coughs> and see what happens liner again getting liners again so but yeah so that's the crack anyway but I'm going to have to say Adios for now because I haven't got much battery life left and I need to save that in case I get a fish through the night. So, 
and I'm going to sign off for now. I shall catch you in the morning, people. And then last I have a fish. Bloody deserve on the amount of work I've put in, plus I've moved, but I've been working hard at it like this for ages now, and I'm just, I just don't know. Just do not know what else I can do. I don't. I'm not doing anything wrong. It's just, I don't know. It's just really hard. It's making it harder now. We've gone like pea soup, but on last night anyway. So fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. Right, catch you in a bit. Adios. Here's my little friend, look people. Good morning. It's now Saturday morning. And I've just been getting liners all night again. I reeled my rods in. And I've been, the birds have had baits off of both rods. And they was tied in, tied on as well. So, bloody nightmare. That's the only trouble with fishing. And just pull up a bit. That's the only trouble with fishing this bank. That's what I don't like about it. And you can't really fish flat lines because of the fact of where you're fishing over there. So it's a bit of a nightmare sometimes. I mean the swans just aren't left me alone. They've been picking the lines all constantly. Um, but I've enjoyed it, but I think next time I'm gonna have to I don't know, figure out probably a different position for the rods or something so the swans aren't picking the line because I'm fishing on a diagonal at the minute. But I've reeled my rods in, all three of them, and I've put two bags back out on the spot, and then I've recast that rod back out there. I haven't put any more bait on that, I've just cast it out. There's been plenty of bait gone down there. Um, it's about half nine or something now. I'm going to have a couple of cups of coffee. Have a bit of breakfast as well, to eat. So I had a bit of a lie in this morning, I've just been chilling out in the bed because I'm tired. And then, uh, you know, I'll give it a couple of hours, I've still got a couple of hours. The amount of hard work I've put in, I've already deserved a fish. But, so that's the state of affairs. Right, I'm going to get this cup of coffee, and hopefully there's still time, people, still time. So, come on. Please, give me a fish. Alright, catch you in a bit. Adios. What's up with you? Eh? Is there another camera? Right, blog time people. Packing up. Just about. Just got this lot to move. Probably going to be two journeys. Now the weather's getting better. I'm going to go through all my kit. Get it all cleaned down and get all my winter stuff out so I can lighten up so I can move about more. But I'll not be back on the bank next week because I'm going away on holiday on Friday till Monday, Tuesday, the following week. So I might not be on for two weeks, but I think what I'm going to do is do two weeks back to back. I don't know who I'll see first. But I just had a run not long ago. I don't know if I've already told you. I stood over there and it just went screaming off. I picked it up and there was nothing there again. So I don't know, probably a small fish, a tench or a small roach or something. But the algae seems to have gone down a little bit today. It's thinned out a little bit on the lake now, there's not as many on. I should imagine there's about 10, 11 on now. But anyway, thanks everybody for watching, subscribing, liking commenting so tight lines everybody happy angling and i'll see you next time adios amigos